Peter Valentine. Peter Valentine, what brings you here tonight? I mean, everybody here, you know, everybody's here to do a good thing. So what does it mean to be a citizen? Being able to do your part and, and having fun, but also like, like, like contributing to society. No, you're exactly, you nailed it. You got it right on the head. And I'm definitely bidding on this one right here. Elizabeth Hoffnagel. Okay, what brings you here tonight? I'm one of the bachelorettes for the charity bash. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, what type, is this one of your favorite events so far? How many have you been to? I've been to all, the, the, well this is the third annual event, I've been to the other two. And actually this year is really exciting because I was asked to be in it, so. Oh, that's awesome. So you can see how this organization is just taking off. Where do you see this going? I mean, that's as huge as it is. Okay, Charity Bash makes me so happy because the idea is I volunteer at least once a week. But, you know, it's really hard for a lot of young professionals to get out there and to take their time. But to actually have this organization that, like, gets people out, they can party, but also give and donate, I just think Charity Bash is going to grow and grow and grow. Tell me about your package. All right, well, a couple things. So my favorite thing about my package is I have like seven different restaurants. Then I have two spas. I have um, the Four Seasons. I also have an amazing package for dogs. Oh, wow. So if you were going to go on a perfect date and you were going to spend the weekend with the person, where are you going to put your dog? Put them in a dog spa. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Here with Mr. Zach Brockman. He just uh, is one of the bachelors. What brings you here tonight? Well, I uh, I know Alex really well, and she asked me to come out and support Casa and LifeWorks and be one of the bachelors in the uh, date auction tonight. Awesome. How many of these uh, things have you been to so far? Well, the Charity Bash, uh, they do events all over town, and I've been to about seven or eight of them. I've never been to a date auction, but I've been to uh, several of their events. How would you uh, rate this event compared to the other? Do you think it's getting bigger? or? Oh, it's definitely getting bigger. Every time you go, it's, it's, it's more extravagant. There's more people involved. So far, I think we've raised, what, 40000 And you were a part of that, weren't you? How much did you raise? I was, I was. I think my package went for about $2,700. That's awesome. What's one of your, um, or what is your favorite nonprofit? My favorite nonprofit, uh, I personally, I have Crohn's disease, and so the favorite uh, nonprofit I listed was uh, the Crohn's Association of America. And so when you go into there and uh, we do walks and all kinds of different things that help raise awareness for people with all kinds of different uh, digestive uh, problems. Thank you so much for taking the time. Hi, it's Dee, and I'm here with Candace Honey. Candace, um, what brings you here tonight? I'm a bachelorette in the third annual Charity Bash live auction, and it was just such an exciting opportunity to be a part of a, an event that supports CASA and LifeWorks. Charity Bash and Citizen Generation is just such an incredible organization because it really reaches out to the young crowd. That's one of the main reasons that we're all here tonight is because we're here to have a good time, but all of us genuinely care about the Austin community. Where do you see uh, this next event taking? This is obviously blown up. And it, I mean, you can see tonight, there's a million people here. Where do you see this organization going and taking it to the next level? I was blown away by how many people and how oversold this auction was. It's incredible. Over 370 people uh, or tickets sold for the evening. So I could see this going to multiple cities throughout Texas and throughout the United States. You are one of the bachelorettes. Tell me about your package tonight. Sure, I'd love to. Well, actually, the W. Austin was so generous and donated to uh, two nights day, $450 to spend at Trace Restaurant and the exclusive away spa, two ACL tickets, uh, three nights in Whistler. It, I mean, it's a great package. Cut in color by Ricky Hodge, one of my favorite stylists in Austin. So people in Austin are just so generous. And it's just so nice to be such, uh, a part of such a generous community. I hope you get lots of bids. We know you will, and it was great to see you. Hi, I'm Dee. I'm here with... Chris Roberts. Okay, Chris Roberts. Is, this is not your first... Uh, no, I, I participated in the event last year. I heard. You're the man of the hour. How much did you raise last year? Uh, 20000 That's a car. That's a car. That's awesome. So tell me about your package this year. Uh, this year I had a lot of things. I had that cruising cool that I was cruising around the stage on. I have a helicopter ride over downtown Austin. 
Uh, I've got a couple of boat packages on Lake Austin. All for a great cause. Yeah. What is your favorite nonprofit? It has to be Citizen Generation. I've been doing a lot of things with them for a long time. They help out and reach a lot of families. What is a, a, a big community issue that uh, you're very involved in that they help out with? Help out families that don't have the advantages that we have in terms of education and particularly uh, money that helps them tie them over when they can't get it on their own. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. You were, uh, you were something else out there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we're with the lady of the night, Miss Alex. It's the end of this awesome production. How much money did we raise? We are around $85,000. Oh my goodness. So this has grown so, so, so much. And uh, you put so much work into this. Where do you see this going beyond this, if you can even imagine that? Well, with Citizen Generation, we are continuously expanding, uh, starting new programs in addition to Charity Bash. We have Charity Ladies and charity volunteers, and soon to be charity lunch and charity fit. So making more ways uh, for people to get involved in the community and then expanding past Austin. How um, with somebody new that's just coming into this, uh, who just on a whim got here, how do they get involved in, in charities like those? You can find us uh, on, on Facebook or on the web, citizengeneration.org, and through our events you can find out about different nonprofits in the city. Okay, so, so what's the next event? Have we gotten there that? What, 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 tell me about it. December 7th, we're hosting our next Charity Ladies. It's benefiting St. Louise House. This is a program for women to empower other women. And then in January, we're hosting uh, our next Charity Volunteers. And February is our second annual Masquerade Ball, benefiting Capital Area Food Bank. Thank you so much. Everybody's had so much fun. And uh, we'll see you in December.